Welcome in Karibuni to a room of Zanzi, but today I'm going to share with you how to make this simple basic buttercream. I have some powdered sugar here, some butter, some heavy whipping cream. You can use uh, milk if you want, and also some coffee mate if you are in a hot region or if you don't want to use dairy at all. Meringue powder, vanilla and salt. I'm going to start with the meringue powder and my sugar is divided into three portions so I'm going ahead with one third of my sugar and uh, heavy whipping cream. Now if you don't have meringue powder it's okay. Meringue powder has a composition of an egg white so it can be substituted with an egg white but not for this recipe. But if you don't have it it's okay. It just gives you an extra shine and gloss and it forms better. But you can substitute, I mean you can get that consistency by adding extra sugar if you want. Okay, so here I was looking for something glossy uh, before I add my second batch of the sugar. So if you're not using meringue powder you would just do liquid and sugar first and then add sugar again. You want to make sure that your your mixture is well combined before you add your second part of the sugar. A lot of people think that when you use powdered sugar it doesn't require much blending or mixing because it's powder. No, it still has that fine grains and you can feel them and taste them when your buttercream is not well done. That's why I prefer to do this way instead of the other way around where you start with butter or sugar. Okay, so make sure it's well combined before you add another batch of sugar. Okay, now once I'm done with all the sugar, and of course, um, yeah, once I'm done with all the sugar and the vanilla, I am going to beat this for at least three to four minutes to make sure it's well, well done before I add the butter. Okay. Now, my butter is in cubes and it's uh, soft and also cool. Not cold, just cool. Okay, so it's going to go in slowly in small portions until I'm done. And when it's done, again, I'm going to beat it more for about two to three minutes extra on high speed. Uh, if you notice, I'm not using a whip at or whisk attachment here because it creates a lot of uh, air. Uh, the pedal attachment, I mean it creates a lot of air bubbles, okay? The pedal attachment makes your buttercream airy, fluffy and light but with less air bubbles so it's easy to work with. Now if you're using, uh, okay, this is my buttercream is ready. It's nice, light and fluffy, but it's a little bit thick for what I want to use. Okay, now if you're using for to cover cake, this consistency is perfect. But to pipe, you need it a little bit lighter, so I'm going to add little, um, what do you call, uh, heavy whipping cream. Now this recipe is there, a lot of people do it, but they do it with about four to five cups of powdered sugar. I don't like my buttercream very sweet, so I'm only doing three cups of sugar. Now if you want it thicker than this, or you want more in terms of quantity, then you can do four to five cups of sugar. Okay, so this is uh, perfect for what I'm looking for. And if you're using a, a what do you call, a creamer, the powder one, Mix it with warm water, let it cool, and then start working with it. Now here's my buttercream. As you can see, it's very nice, beautiful, light, and fluffy. Okay, I'll be showing you other buttercreams such as uh, Swiss meringue, Italian meringue, and French buttercream. Um, just give me time. And uh, well, for more recipes, please visit me, Aroma Zanzibar, and uh, thank you very much, and thank you for the support and the love.